All right, fans, this is Brady Lieber from the Cincinnati Steam as we kick off the 2015 season at Foundation Field in Hamilton. You're looking at the new head coach of the Steam, Pat Hyde, returning after a sabbatical, a former assistant coach. Pat, you got your first head coaching win. Congratulations, man. How's it feel? Oh, it feels great. Thanks, Brady. All right, 13-3 win here against the Joes, and, um, you know, a lot of stars in this one for the Steam. You got to take a real good look at your team, but center fielder Trey Capricorn out of UC really stood out today. Yeah, he swung the bat well, uh, played a good outfield, uh, really stepped up, swung the bat when he needed to. Yeah, four hits for him today and a diving, uh, sliding catch out in center field. And your starting pitcher, uh, Brad Kirshner out of uh, Xavier, you know, he got himself into some jams, but got right back out of him, only giving up one run. He did. Brad threw, did a good job throwing a lot of strikes. Uh, Kept the running game off balance, mixing up uh, his tempo, all that stuff. Ran through a great game. Yeah, and Hunter Dunn did well coming out of the bullpen. Uh, he went four to close things out, too. Talk about Hunter. Oh, Hunter, man. I think he threw every better. I think he started off the first pitch strike. He put your ass with guys. Uh, pitchers did a good job pitching with the lead all, uh, all night. Starting guys out, uh, getting strikes, keeping themselves ahead of the count. Okay, Kirshner and Dunn, the only guys we saw tonight. So uh, it's kind of like a season preview, man. Kind of talk about your pitching staff. What do you expect uh, out of your starters and your bullpen? Just a brief overview of that for me. Oh, yeah, we got uh, we got a ton of left-handed pitching. It's great depth for the bullpen. Uh, past week in practice, uh, pitchers did a great job throwing strikes. Uh, basically, our whole starting staff, pitch, uh, bullpen guys do a great job just throwing the ball over the plate, keeping it low in the zone. Get a lot of ground ball outs and hopefully keep their uh, pitch count down. Okay, starting pitching wise, did anybody stand out to earn a place in the rotation here, uh, at least for the beginning of the season? Oh, yeah. I mean, Brad obviously did the ball great. Um, Nick Beard will throw tomorrow. Um, Wes Noble, Brandon Smithern, and then possibly some guys that are still filling in from their college season. So. All right, and what's your bullpen look like? We only saw Dunn tonight, man, but. Uh, are you looking for guys particularly out of your back end, or is that going to work itself out? Oh, we got uh, Josh Buchelski uh, from Michigan State. Is, uh, looks real good against lefties. Um, arms fresh, pounds his own. Uh, Wyatt Myers, another left-handed guy. Look forward to seeing him pitch a lot. Um, try not to draw a blank on anybody. Uh, as far as right-hander, right-handers, Clark Pines will come in, throw strikes. Um, Got so many. Uh, Darren Bowling, another left-handed right. pitcher. Um, and plus, you got some guys coming in too. You're still expecting Ted Andrews, uh, Brennan Burns, uh, Will Detweiler coming in from College of Charleston. Right, so, uh, yeah, so we'll you got a deep pitching staff, man. It's got to make a former catcher feel happy. Oh, it does definitely. It can never, uh, can never be too deep on the mound. That's right, man. Let's go to the offense. You scored 13 runs tonight. You know, Treg Abercorn we talked about with the big offensive day. But a guy who stood out to me and didn't even get a hit tonight was Trey Gans. He had that one particular, what we call a professional at bat, where he falls behind 0-2 and then works a walk to drive in a run. Talk about Trey and his patience at the plate. Oh, Trey did a good job. Uh, he was ready to hit. And, yeah, I mean, what I like more, uh, more, more impressively is the two-strike approach. He never really gave at bats away, really ran it out at bats. And he made some loud outs and was finding barrel all night long. All right. Now let's just talk about your defense uh, by position. Not necessarily your defense, but at least the players out there that you put out there uh, tonight, man, as far as to kind of give the fans at home uh, what they're going to look for uh, position player-wise. You're in field. Uh, Andre Jernigan and Danny Carrier started in the middle tonight, man. Just talk about your infield and then move on out to the outfield. Infield, yeah. Andre and Danny, I think they do a good job communicating. I mean, only being together for – Short couple period of time. They did a great job molding well together. And they look real comfortable out there. Uh, Adam Bolin, uh, be playing third base a lot for us. Um, real comfortable over there. Got a good arm. Uh, first base had Max Foley over there tonight. Trey Gans will play there too. Uh, outfield we had Brad Burkhart. Burkhart come out there late in the game. Um, Alex Corn out and right. And Trey obviously in center. Um, we had Mitch Lindensky also. I mean, we got speed in the outfield. They patrol real well. Um, get the ball in when balls are hit to the outfield. Uh, our outfield seems pretty uh, pretty deep, and I'm looking forward to that. Um, catching, Austin Riemann did a good job, especially at that bat. Good team at bat early in the game, moving the guy over. Um, did a good job. Him and, him and Andy did a good job handling the pitching staff. Uh, couldn't really ask any more from them. All right, Pat Hyde, congratulations once again. A big 13-3 win here in Hamilton against the Joes. Come right back tomorrow. 
for the home opener for the Steam at Max McClear Field. And a special thing, uh, your good friends like all of us were with Max McClear, and he'll be officially inducted in the Great Lakes Summer Collegiate League Hall of Fame at the end of the second inning. Real quick, man, just give me your thoughts on Max and what he means to you and the rest of the oh, franchise. Man, Max is a great guy. The amount of work he put in for the Steam on the field, off the field. I mean, it's hard to replace a guy like that, and he's deeply missed. He was a great dude. Always being that he was first one at the field, always greeting you right at the door. All right. Pat Hyde will be greeting you at the door tomorrow for the home opener. Congratulations for being 1-0 on the season. Appreciate it. Thanks, Brady.